What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. On today's episode, I'm exploring something that's literally right around the corner from me that I've never shown you guys, so stay tuned. All right, so what we have here is a local playground that I've actually brought my kids to several times. And it uh, looks like they're doing some type of refurbishing, which is pretty cool, but check this out. Right behind the playground is a hidden path. Check that out. And this takes you to one of the most beautiful, looks like people haven't really been coming through here. I'm not sure, quite honestly, this is really overgrown. But then again, I don't think I've ever been here in the springtime. And the nice thing is, since this is Ohio, I don't have to worry about Oh man, I do have to worry about litter bugs. I'm gonna make sure this gets into a trash can. But I don't have to worry about sneaky snakes, venomous snakes, I have to mention that, venomous. Not poisonous, I was corrected before and they were right. They are not poisonous, they're venomous. Oh man, see, this, this kind of makes me upset. But funny enough, last year when I discovered this place, there was a fella that was coming out of here and he had... <laughs> A whole bunch of tools like picks and bags and stuff and you know it kind of creeped me out so I ended up talking to the guy just because it was I was a little uncomfortable so I ended up talking to him and it turns out he was a uh, like a one-man cleanup crew and he actually inspired me to come out here several times with garbage bags and go through here and clean it up and I really hope he's okay I never got his number but I'm gonna I'm gonna assume he hasn't been through in a while which that's sad for this area, but I'm definitely going to take over and I'm going to get that on my way back out. There's a lot more trash, unfortunately. I wish it was taken care of a little bit better by the people who use it and utilize it. But check this out, folks. Look at how cool this path is. And the cool thing about this little park is that it has so many winding trails. And they come from all over the place. So... There's not just like one route to get to what I'm trying to get to, which I don't know, maybe somebody can hear it. All I can hear is that. Oh, see, so there's another path right there. There's a path this way. There's a path that goes this way. Oh, man. There is a lot to do down here, and it's super cool. Looks like it goes that way, too. But this is what I was coming down here for. And, of course, with areas like this attached to parks... You do have the uh, the local teens, maybe some of the adults, you never know, come down here and enjoy themselves a little too much. So you'll find a lot of souvenirs that they leave behind. And look at how beautiful this is. And that's looking extra crisp. It's more full than I expected it to be. And that's actually people's backyards. If you go keep going that way, there's actually houses up there and an entire neighborhood so I think that would be extremely awesome. I mean, this is right around the corner for me, but I'm not lucky enough to have this uh, like right into my backyard. I have to drive and look, there's a trail that goes that way. But this is actually the way back up because there's actually some really cool, beautiful trees over here. Some big, big, beautiful trees. And I know a lot of people like to come hang out here and I've actually seen in this tree right here this big one this is the hangout spot you can see it's got a nice place to sit a lot of foot traffic has come through here look at how padded down everything is but check this out oh i'm not going to get a good angle of it i've never come here in the springtime and of course it's almost summer i don't know maybe i can get a slight angle on it no there's a hole right at the top of this uh dead tree here and i've actually seen owls in there before but of course this was in fall and owls are nocturnal, so more than likely if they are still in there, they're sleeping. But check out how beautiful this clearing is. And look at that. That's like the perfect place to have a picnic or, or uh, take a breathing regimen. Oh, there you go. See, look at that. The partiers were here. <sighs> if you're going to use it, man, just clean up after yourself. How hard is that? It even came with a bag. And there's trash cans literally at the top of this um, uh, little park area here. And there's just trash all over the place. I'm going to have to come back with a bag and pick all this stuff up and help get rid of it but let's keep going this way and see what else we can find this is actually the way I like to come so 
Uh, the, the path that I brought you guys in from is the second path. There is a first path that I literally parked right in front of, but I wanted to check something out. Plus, there's a lot of people, and I don't like to film in front of people. Uh, it might draw a crowd. I wanted to come down here by myself. Which, I mean, people are more than welcome to come down here. I'm not saying they're not allowed to. I'm just saying, me personally, I wanted to come here down by myself so that I could get all of this glory as much as I could. Oh, man, so pretty. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I don't have to worry about snakes. I don't have to worry about spiders. Uh, there, there is a few poisonous spiders in Ohio, but I, I'm very unlikely to run into them, which is nice. Doesn't mean it can't happen. It's just very unlikely. And I wish I had my Walmart work boots, but I did have to leave those back in Florida because I couldn't bring them on the plane with me. And I thought I saw tracks, but those don't look like tracks to me. But I'm not 100% sure. No, those are 100% tracks, but this looks extremely muddy. Let's just get in there anyways. What are we exploring for? Oh yeah, those are definite tracks. Look at those little imprints. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are adorable. So we do have otters here in Ohio, but I doubt there's any little otters in this, in this here creek. Oh, there it goes. It's flowing that way. That's beautiful. Oh man, if I had to guess, I'd say this is probably a raccoon. My little buddies. Oh, look at those good ones right there. They're such perfect little handprints just in the mud right there. That is too funny and too cute. Let me hop back up here. That's quite a jump. I think I can do it. Oh, I slipped, but I still did it. Whew. What is going on with the water coloring over here? I couldn't see it from back there. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks really dingy. What's going on? Somebody pours in the water hole. I don't think that's what that is, but it definitely doesn't look right. It's, it's, it, maybe that's, I don't think that's stagnant either. That's what I was gonna see, say, but I don't think that's what that is. I think that's just a weird, I hope nobody's dumping stuff down here. I'd hate to be the one to find that. And usually there's a lot. This is the stagnant water. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just stagnant water. And of course there's more trash. Oh man, that breaks my heart. Uh, but it gives me something to do. So definitely I'm going to wrap up this video and then come back down here. Might need to bring more than one trash bag. I don't have one of those cool poker sticks for trash or the little grabber claws. So I'm definitely going to add that to a list of stuff that I need. Oh yeah, this water's looking a little funk. Super stagnant, super funky. Hopefully I don't run into a skunk ape monkey. Something just flew right in my ear. It's not where you belong, fella. Wow, I'm really like super heartbroken. I know I might be preaching from a pedestal right now, but it is, it is breaking my heart to see how much trash is down here, which makes me think maybe that fella, I think his name was David hasn't come back down here this year. And this is remnants of a beaver dam. Oh, look at that. Check this out over here. I hear it flowing. There it is. There it is. Oh, this is the nice part. Oh yeah, and this definitely leads up to somebody's backyard and a big beautiful tree right there. Oh, that is pretty. Oh my goodness, I love this. I'll definitely have to show this off. Oh, yep, I just walked into somebody's backyard. Let's go ahead and turn around. <laughs> I know they don't own that part of the creek, but you never know, you know. They were definitely just uh, cleaning their yard, so I'm not trying to walk up on them, you know. Some people like to do lawn care in the nude, and I'm not trying to get that on uh, camera. At least not this camera. Not any cameras, I promise. All right, look at this absolutely gorgeous I'd love to be able to get over there take a peek sees what I can see I need you guys to be my eyes definitely in the comment section below let me know if you saw a Bigfoot I already got a few comments from the last video I made that you guys said you saw some I watch it, I promise, when I'm editing, I watch. I watch all that I can, just like you guys do. You know, I finally get that spectator view. Because when I'm in it, you know, it's hard to focus on anything other than what I'm filming. So, this is really cool. 
I haven't seen any fish or any type of creatures. Except for these bugs, man, these bugs are bothering me. One of them has been trailing me. I'm trying to throw them off by going in all different directions, but that doesn't work on bugs. They, uh, they stick with you as best as they can. And he's like biting the exact same spot over and over again. Oh, I didn't expect it to be this full. Surprisingly enough, it's been kind of dry these last few days, so I expected it to be just a little bit dry. And there is, oh, ho, 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 look at that. That's what I like to see, some big old deer prints. Oh, and something else, that's a big one too. What is that? That is a big old paw print of some sort. There's the, the tip of it and there's the ball of the palm. So it's like this. It looks like they came down here for a drink of water and then probably stampered off back to where they came, which who knows where that is. I've never seen deer in my neighborhood, which is like I said, just right up the street from here, less than a minute drive. So it's cool to know that there's actual deer in the area. And deer are one of those things, you know, we we grew up with them here in Ohio, so they're not super duper special, but it's it's creatures, so it is still special at the same time. Yeah, I'm back to the stump, my favorite stump. I wish I could get a better angle on that hole up there, but let's wander back this way and see if I can escape these bugs. I doubt it. That's not necessarily my goal. But it would be nice. I'm actually hoping to get on a fishing trip here soon. Somewhere in Ohio. I think somebody invited me. I, I have a horrible memory when it comes to stuff like that. Oh look, they've been here too. That's a beautiful print right there. Creatures. Alright. Now we're in the thick of it. This is beautiful. It's like somebody might have been panning for gold here and forgot their pan. Which I don't know. I don't think a creek bed like this would be good for gold panning, but I, I don't know. You know, I don't have experience with it. It's just my best guess. I'm sure this is probably actually really good. That water is beautifully clear. Love it. I always get the comments that say this is one of their favorite parts when they can hear the water flowing like that, and it is mine too. Check that out. Check out that way. It is just gorgeous. Grab that. Whatever that is. Go right into the trash when I get back up there. Actually, let's hop back onto the path. This isn't really a path. This is like the side of a path. But oh man, I wish. Oh, actually, that's a path over there. I'd love to get over to that area. That area looks really nice. I think I just saw a creature fly by. It is getting kind of late. It is evening. It's past dinner time, quite honestly. I decided to get out of the house and go do something fun and enjoyful. Have not been out to film, which makes me always feel bad. Trust me, I love getting out, doing stuff stuff like this and showing you all at home there's the path that i thought i was on all right and that's a big old monster cam like what is going on something just flew in my eye do you guys see it just like at the uh, manatee springs when i got out of that water if you guys watched guapo's videos my eyes were like puffy and red it was so strange and it was making me nervous because it, it didn't hurt but it was like pressure so I don't know what was going on, but it did clear up. It cleared up on its own, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Out in nature. But oh man, is this gorgeous or what? Love it. The temperature is perfect today too. It's actually really hot right now, but the humidity is super low, so it does not even feel that hot. It's almost 85, 90 degrees right now. The humidity is, like I was saying, super low. So it feels like a nice, cool, 70 plus I'm in the shade right now but we're making it 
All right. Still no little creatures, but this water is so beautiful. So clear. I'm getting over there. If I can avoid getting another bug the eye. I've already gotten these shoes wet once out in Florida. And that was terrible. I was not happy with these wet shoes. Uh, I guess I should just get trekking shoes. That would make more sense. What do I need the work boots for? All right, this is going to be a nice big leap. <laughs> All right, I just jumped from over there to over here. So just a uh, perspective. Beautiful. Oh, wow, what is that? What is that? Man, there's just all kinds of trash down here, breaking my heart. <gasps> Look at all the little shells. Maybe we do have otters over here. Not that that's a clear indication, but if something's coming up to this bank and cracking little shells, which I don't know if these are mussels. Nope, those are little clams. That's little clam shells, and I know mino otters love clams, so it's very possible we have an otter somewhere in these in these waters. Otters in these waters. Oh man, I would absolutely be over the moon if I saw a little otter right now. And I still don't know what that is. It looks like an old chair of some sort. <sighs> and I do see... Wow, that's one heck of a spider web right in front of me. A little hole that I want to check out for creatures. About the worst thing you'll find right now, especially since it's still daylight out is the potential to come across a possum or a raccoon, you know, and the odds of getting rabies from those is almost none. That's how small it is. You have a better chance of getting rabies from a dog than you do a raccoon. And I don't think that's the way to go. This is definitely the way to go. And yeah, I wish I had like those trekking shoes, those, you know, they have the holes and you can just walk in water and not worry about it. That would be smart right now. I gotta stop thinking work boots and start thinking trekking shoes. Uh oh, gotta go back the way I came. All right, I'm gonna get back over to that side and see what else we can find. Oh, this is a cool route. I've never seen anything like that before. This is the main route, or at least part of the main route, and those are the little roots that come out of it. Oh, the hairline roots. All right, so we're going from here to there. And that's probably gonna I'm gonna hit my head on that as I do this leap. All right. What is this? Why is there just stuff everywhere? This is more than a one-man job. There must be somebody who comes down here on the regular just to eat and litter. Let's go this way. They're really pretty. Had a really fun, amazing day today. And this is definitely the way to top it off. Oh look, that I did not expect. Somebody's taking a bike through here. I would never expect. I mean, I guess if it's a trail, there's always somebody who will use the creatures. There you are, what are you? Oh, it's a squirrel, a squirrel. There you go, his little fuzzy butt. Now we do have all different types of squirrels here in different colors at least we here in Columbus we have black squirrels red squirrels the traditional gray squirrels which in Cleveland where I grew up that's all we had was gray squirrels I never saw any other color squirrels until I came down here and there's even in my neighborhood an albino squirrel and I've never actually been on this path I've never gone this far down this trail oh man that is so nice and deep oh there's a fish there we go creatures there he goes awesome that's good to see I was getting nervous for this water for a second and as you can see I've been down here for almost 20 minutes or so and haven't seen a single other soul so if you like being in an exclusive area and that's the way out I do know that so I have been here before that is a way out and look at that there's a broken sled which makes me think that people come down here and sled sometimes, which this is a really nice cleared, cleared area. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm gonna keep following the creek 
here's another dam. And last year when I came down here and I met that fellow, which I think his name was David, there's another path that way, that's pretty cool. This was all clean. So all this little bits of trash that is in this dam right now, that was not there. All the trash that I ran into before was not there. So you can see, you know, just how easy it is for stuff like that to build up. And it's crazy. Like you really have to take my word for it. This was not here. This is beautiful. Ooh, this, uh, this is a little slanted. I was not paying attention. I was looking at the uh, creek there, but I'm paying attention now. Too beautiful. See, if I was a Bigfoot, not necessarily, you know, would choose this location, but if I was trying to hide, this would be paradise. All right, we're making this jump. Oh, I thought those were all tracks. Those are not tracks. Those are just um, these, whatever these things are. They're all on that mud over there. I thought they looked like cool. Oh, that looked like a snake for a split second, too. And if I do run into a snake, uh, I guarantee here in Ohio it's not poisonous. Still going to have respect for it. Still going to leave it alone. Maybe get up close and personal with it for a split second to film, but that's about it. So quiet, so beautiful. I'm not 100% sure, but that duck may have had little ducks on its back. I don't think I'll be able to get close to it fast enough. Oh, there's a bunch of them. All right, let's see if I can sneak over there. This path is not the best looking path to me, but there's so many things that are gonna creak and crack as I walk. Oh no, this is like a cool bike path almost. right next to me oh that was a big creature I still hear it all right I don't have to worry about any giant wild boars no snakes no spiders but then there's not really a risk is there Try to get closer to the ducks, and I think this is actually going to take me around and away. Oh, I was not expecting that. That was not part of my calculations. Oh, that's a nice big hole. Definitely a nice big hole. There's creatures somewhere. All right, let's keep on keeping on. I could definitely see this being a bike path, like as small as it is, unless this is a creature path, which I guess that makes more sense. Looking for tracks. Don't see many tracks. I've seen those videos of extreme bikers on those cliffs just like this, where it's like a dead drop of 500 feet plus, and they're just riding, not a care in the world, except for, you know, falling off the side of that cliff. They do an amazing job, but of course, I have seen the outtake videos. <laughs> of people who slip off the side that is gorgeous down there and I don't think there's a way to get any closer and I'm wandering farther and farther away than I've been before so I'm not really sure where I'm going now but we're gonna get there and this is a nice little clearing and there is tons of trails and paths and just woodland areas to explore beautiful parks and I think I'm gonna make that my goal this summer I am trying to get into the habit of posting a video every day and uh, keeping up with a live or two every week so hopefully that'll be something I'll be able to do is get out 
and explore all these cool parks for you guys, but also for me. You know it's for me, really. But I'd love to show you all as well, because there's a lot I have not done in the place that I've lived for almost 12 years now. So that's definitely something I need to get out and do. Look at this cool path behind me. That's super cool. That big path right there, and I'm gonna take this path and check out if this swings me back around. That's a big old nut. Not even cracked or anything. Jackson likes to collect these. The only thing I need to worry about is poison ivy. But if you want, if you're a regular of the channel, you know I talk about poison ivy. Is that I don't have an, uh, an allergic reaction to it. Oh, there we go. So that's how you get back to the water on that side, and then there's water on this side. And I'm not gonna get back over to see them ducks, which is upsetting. But let's see if there's anything over here. You do always run the risk of running into somebody's campsite, and that's never a good thing. Which that looks like that could have been a hut of some sort. And I am getting really off the, kind of off the path I feel like. Maybe, maybe not. Just because I haven't been here doesn't mean I'm off the path yet. But see, stuff like that. Indicators of maybe people living down here. Which, uh, from my experience, especially here in Columbus, uh, they're never friendly. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say that. Wow, look at the size of this tree. And that's a sycamore, I think. No, that's not a sycamore. I don't know. Maybe that's a sycamore. That white splotchy part is what I believe to be. Jeremy usually calls those trees out when he sees them. This one's massive. That has to be like a 20 foot diameter of that. You know, if you wrap a rope around it. Oh yeah, see, that could either be trash or that could be a campsite right there. Which I mean, that is trash, regardless it's trash, but that could be an active campsite. And, oh yeah, this whole area looks like it could have been an active campsite. And I mean, what a place to live, right? This is like something out of Tom and Huck, right? This is where you would camp and live and maybe there's even fish right here you can catch every once in a while. Probably turtles and frogs. Definitely something to do and it is possible that there's somebody in these woods watching me as I'm filming for y'all. Which yeah, if we're hunting Bigfoot, that's the thing we do. Which that's also on my plans for something I've got to do eventually is actually go on a real Bigfoot expedition in areas that have been, you know, highly, um, like sightings have been seen. Hi there, wow, this is beautiful, oh, that's right, somebody's backyard, so I, I doubt that's a campsite. I mean, it's very possible, but I doubt it. It could just be kids or something like that, that uh, reside there or, you know, friends that have come over. Absolutely beautiful, and yeah, this is a neighborhood, so that's how cool a lot of this stuff is and this is what I grew up with in uh, back home up in Cleveland we had a property that was backed up to the woods except it was a lot of woods and in the woods there was a big old creek and we used to be in there and down there every single day and this is a huge beautiful path now I know to get out of here I need to go that way to at least get back to where I came from but I'm not exactly sure where this would pop me out if I went that way that's too cool. Natural bridges, I love it. Super duper pretty, uh oh. So much trash, so upsetting. I am thinking about getting in contact, just as Jeremy did with somebody from the national parks and seeing if I can get some type of tour. I think that would be cool. Around Columbus and stuff like that, I think that would be super cool to have an actual expert with me I mean, I love having the little basic knowledge that I have, but it'd be so cool. Look at that, folks. I literally just found, I hope this isn't trademarked, the location of the Ninja Turtles. This is where they come in and out. That is 100% a fact. This has to be Turtle Town. And before they jump out and kick my butt, I'm going to get out of here and check out what's over yonder. This is such a nice path. I, I can't imagine that this isn't part of the park. 
Oof, them turtles stink. <laughs> uh, if anybody's ever owned a turtle tank, you know what I'm talking about. It's exactly what it smells like, except times 10. Oof, man. Man, oh man. What is going on? This is what stinks, really. Oof. That log being across the water like that is what's preventing all of this stuff from flowing off. Yeah, definitely it's coming this way, which that's beautiful. It comes in here and it stagnates. And it has nowhere to go and it builds bacteria and stuff like that. And oh, look. Some ancient ruins. How cool. How cool. Some ancient ruins. What? Was there a bridge here or something at one point? No markings whatsoever. And this is literally a lone structure. I don't see anything else. That is absolutely gorgeous as well. I don't see any other types of structures like this. Wow, in the comment section below, I need you all to tell me what you think this is. This is too cool. This is a, it's a warning sign. That's what somebody's gonna say. This is a do not enter sign. It's what they used to use back in the, the good old days to let people know to stay out of this area or you will be moited and I definitely can't get across to over there but there is a path that goes that way so let's all right heavy light one common uh, question or I guess comment that I was getting which I do need to address was a lot of people were telling me when I was walking around in Florida that I should have been using a walking stick, which is fine and dandy, very smart. There's nothing wrong with that. The only problem is I'm holding a camera. This arm right here is busy holding a camera. So if I tie up my other arm, um, it could slow my reaction time. A lot of people were saying you could use a stick to poke things and stuff, but <laughs> I'd rather use something else if my life is in danger. So having a free hand to reach and grab and uh, do with what I need is more important to me than having a poking stick, but you guys are 100% right. A walking stick is definitely something, if you're out here by yourself and you're not filming like a goofball like I am, uh, definitely a smart thing to have. I definitely recommend, but since I'm out here filming, I can't tie up both of my hands with sticks because I could, for one, use this camera, look at that, as a, as a weapon as well. So uh, it is tied onto this tripod that I have that I hold so I can use it as an axe but I think it's about time to go find a new path through here hit the dead end let's go see what else I can find all right so I'm on my way out and this is just too cool I had to share just the different paths so that goes out that goes out I'm sure that goes out too so decisions, decisions. I like the one with the bridge, with the overhang bridge, you know. Maybe I'll run into a troll in this area and he'll try to take my money. That's the clear, easy path. We don't do that. We go this way. All right. Not, no trolls. Oh, wait, one just walked under the bridge. It was me. All right, I made some bird laugh. That's pretty cool. Of course, remnants of a time we hope to soon forget. <laughs> Oh wow, this is a nice path right here. Oh wow, what did I just run into? See, once again, here we go. That's an ominous sign, lots of clothes. This was definitely somebody's campsite. How strange. That is such a heartbreaker. And that's a way out. This is technically a way in. The, hearing the kids is a good sign because I know the park is that way. And there's the bike trails again almost made it out and I came across something that of course I have to share because this is taking a risk and my channel would not be the same without this one particular item that I seem to always find. So check it out folks, this is really weird. What the heck? That's exactly what y'all think it is. That's definitely Bigfoot size. And not only that, it's just laying right on the middle of the trail. Super suspicious Bigfoot do better, buddy. <laughs> As somebody who's looking for you, I'm gonna find you real easy if that's the type of the clues you're leaving. 
But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you all coming on this walk with me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be plenty more coming up. There's a lot of parks I've got to explore. If you enjoyed it, if you thought it was peaceful, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And in the comment section below, let me know if there's any place around Columbus, Ohio that you'd like me to explore because you know I will. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next one.